How are we doing today guys? Today I have on Viper 9 Toy Videos a really cool piece from the Star Wars Legacy Collection. This one is a battle pack for the Geonosis Assault. Uh, right here it states underneath this price tag, works with Republic gunships sold separately. I do find that kind of hilarious because obviously this doesn't include the Republic gunship. Sad face. But on the back, it does explain a little bit about what this situation is, does show how it attaches to the Republic gunship, how the clone figure can actually fit into the battle pod, uh, a couple of the other battle packs that come out, little little explanation of what's going on if you want to go ahead and pause and read that. But right now, let's go ahead and get this guy open so we can take a look at these figures and this battle pod um the unfortunate thing is is this set is relatively expensive uh you're looking at this price tag to be honest with you i got it for a really really good price uh but to get two of these things to put onto your republic gunship is actually kind of expensive i'm not gonna lie let's see what we can do to get these figures here popped out i don't see any Oh, they do have some rubber band on them, but easy enough to get it unsituated. So we got one figure out. We can get the second figure out. They added an extra rubber band to this one, I believe. Oh, there is the second figure out. Now these ones, these figures, I expect them to be around the exact same as the Evolutions 3-pack that I did previously. If you would like to go ahead and go watch that set, uh, or <laughs> opening, it's a really good set. comes with three different troopers. Go ahead and get that set there. And then we'll go ahead and get that rubber band off. And that one just broke, so that one come loose. Awesome. We'll go ahead and get that done up, and we'll get this packaging set aside. So right there, we have that battle pod that fits down. Ooh, we have a cool little booklet here. Oh, it's an old-school toy catalog. Talks about the Build-A-Droid, some of the other vehicles that come out in the Clone Wars series. I miss toy catalogs like this. These were always super fun just to go through. Did we missed the first page. No, we got the first page. Got the second page there. I really miss going through and just like looking through these as a younger kid. Uh, G.I. Joe would come with a lot of this stuff. And I remember always opening that those catalogs for the, with the G.I. Joes and just always daydreaming about some of those, getting some of those figures. Oh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So once again, pesky rubber bands on their blasters. Go ahead and get them off and out of their hands. Let's take a look at the figures. So the, the figures are, like I said, just the, the standard legacy. So they do have just standard T crotches. They have the mid waist swivel, the removable helmet with a single ball joint. The shoulder articulation is always pretty good on these guys, but they have the really weird shoulder joints where the, the top of the joint is actually showing. And then decent, always decent elbow articulation, only wrist um, swivels, no like rockers or anything like that. Decent knees, decent ankles. Same on both figures. Oh, except for his legs are, I think, just from the packaging, a little bit more warped. Let's go ahead and take a look at this battle ball. So it does have one joint there. It does have, I think, a swivel. Ooh, it does have a swivel there. So that's kind of rad. And then it does have the ratcheting joint there as well. And then, so this comes off. Ooh, another pesky rubber band. So this does come off, and this is how it attaches to the inside of the gunship. So that will go like that, and then this will actually rotate. And then there will be two pegs on the inside of the gunship for this to actually attach onto. Which is super rad, because it does make it just like in the opening scene. Or not the opening scene, but the battle scene of the Battle of Geonosis, where the clones finally come to rescue. They have the battle pods. So overall, I am on a hunt for one more of these little guys, uh, at least to get one of my Republic gunships equipped with one of these pods, like or the, the, the fighting pair of these pods. Let's go ahead and get that open. 
So it does just have the, the switch there, or not the switch, the door there. Go ahead and get these guys, his legs situated. And then see about getting him in. Oh, he did not want to fit in very well. He does not want to fit in very well, actually. I might have to swap this dude out for the, um, I would dare say maybe the Black Series uh, clone pilot that they did to see if he won't fit in just a little bit easier. So the, the Black Series, I think, if memory serves me right, he does have updated hips compared to the Legacy Series because this one is not wanting to cooperate. Go ahead and get that closed. So that's just a quick and dirty of getting that in there. So I guess as ground assault, it could be an anti-air. Go ahead and get that tilted up to go ahead and out there. Go ahead and get his other pilot with a blaster in his hand, which his hand is a little warped from being in packaging for so long. But there you have it. There is the battle pack, the Geonosis Assault. Uh, ball turret as well as uh, the pilot overall super excited to have this set like I said still on the hunt for one more to go ahead and get this attached to a gunship so I can have those pods on it just like in the assault and geonosis in attack of the clones but overall guys right there I'm going to go ahead and say thank you for watching